All right, so while the shark in our previous videos isn't exactly programmed to walk on land and attack our character, we're going to have our character escape in his rowboat anyway. So click on your character in the object tree and create a new method. Call it get in boat. Remember to capitalize words after the first one. Now, next to the methods tab in the details pane, you should see a tab called properties. The Properties tab lets you change various things about your objects. Later, you'll be able to make your objects red, radioactive, or invisible. For now though, just look at the Vehicle property. Drag this property into the Method Editor and select Rowboat, the entire rowboat, and the menu that comes up. Now your character's vehicle will become the rowboat, so when the rowboat moves, your character will move with it. That's all we're going to do in here for now, but we will have to call this method. We'll put it at the end of our surprise method. So click on your world, go to the methods tab, and where it says surprise, click edit. Alternatively, if you still had the world.surprise tab open, you could have just clicked on that. Now select your character in the object tree, and drag in the new get in boat method from the top. Now, the way that this is currently set up, the shark will move to the rowboat, and then our character will get in. Naturally, Alice runs lines of code in order, one after the other. But that doesn't make a lot of sense when there's a shark attack, so instead we'll have these two things happen at the same time so that we can actually escape the attack. So look at the very bottom of the screen. Here you'll find some more advanced but common coding structures that are talked about in other videos on our website. Find the one that says Do Together, and then click it and drag it into the method editor. Now drag the move towards method and the get in boat method into the do together. Now these will happen at the same time. You should also never forget to give your user instructions. So click on your character in the object tree and drag in one of his say methods above the do together. Choose other and type something like Oh no, use the arrow keys to help me escape. Once again, you can be more creative with what your character says. Now, we could have put these instructions in our get and boat method, but we don't want to make a specific reference to the shark attack in that method. This is because we may want to use the get and boat method in a future program to say, go for a casual boat ride to the sunset. In computer science, we usually try to keep methods as general as possible so that we never have to rewrite code. Now, as our final thing in this video, let's just make our arrow keys move our robo. To do so, we'll have to create a new event. So click create a new, new event in your event editor and choose let the arrow keys move subject. Now change the subject camera, right now your arrow keys move the camera, to rowboat and the entire rowboat. Finally, you can press play to test your world. Your character will introduce his or herself, do a flip, and cue the shark attack when we press S. Now he's going to tell you to use the arrow keys to move, but when you try to do this, the boat and the character will both move, but your character won't actually be in the boat. Changing the character's vehicle didn't move the character. We'll have to fix this in the next video. We can also ride our boat off screen, which means that we could get lost, which we don't really want. So we'll have to change the camera in the next video to follow around our character. Finally, the shark just kind of sits here in the water after he attacks us. So we'll make him circle around the island in the next video. For now though, just click stop, file, and save world, and then watch the next one to fix these problems.